Hey everyone, welcome back to Kurthrow. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make this simple pause menu where you can basically just resume and it'll hide your mouse cursor and you can continue playing the game or you can restart, which will pretty much just restart the level you're in like so, or you can just quit to exit the game or in this case, it'll just exit the editor. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I'm going to do in my content browser, I'm just going to right click and create a new user interface or head over to user interface and select widget blueprint. I'll select widget blueprint and I'll just call this something like WBP underscore menu pause like so. And then I will double click to open this up. And for my menu pause, all I'm going to do is just uh, let's look for a canvas panel and drag this over here. And then I will look for a, a vertical box. I'll drag a vertical box onto the canvas panel. And then I want to add three buttons onto the vertical box. And then I'm going to add three text, which is going to be inside each of the buttons, just like that. And now for the vertical box, I'm just going to anchor this directly in the middle, reset the property values, and then set the alignment to 0.5 by 0.5. And I think for the size, I'll do something like 500 by 300 or maybe 500 by 500. And for the top button, I'll just call this resume button and make sure is variable is checked. Make, make sure this is checked. And then for the second one, I'll call this restart button. Make sure is variable is checked as well. And for the third button, I will call this quit button and make sure that is variable is checked. And now for the first text under the resume button, I'm going to change this to resume like so. And I'll just leave a padding of one. And I'm going to change the size of this font to something like 50 like so. And I'll go back to my button and just put a padding of 10. And I actually just want to do this for each of my buttons. So this button will have a padding of 10 and the quit button will also have a padding of 10. And then I'm going to go to the text under my restart button and just change this from text block to restart. And I'll change that text size to 50 as well under the font. And then the quit button will also just say quit. Padding will be one. And I'll change the font size to 50. Just like that. And I only want the variables of my buttons to be selected, not the text. Text will just stay as is. And this looks fine to me. So what I'm going to do next is just head over to my graph. And this is pretty much where all the functionality will take place. So I'm just going to select my resume button and then I'll do an on clicked function. And then the same thing for restart on clicked and quit on clicked like so. So pretty much for our quit button, all we need to do is call the function called quit game. And that's pretty much it for our quit button. And then for restart, I'm just going to open the level by name. And this level that I'm in is called Demo Egypt by Cinti Studios. And I will just reopen that level called Demo Egypt and make sure it's spelled right and hit compile. And then for the resume button, all I'm going to do is just when we resume the game, I just want to remove from parent, which will remove the widget. And then we will unpause game. So set game paused to false, just like this. And then I also want to look for a show mouse cursor and I'm going to uncheck this context sensitive and then I will do set show mouse cursor and just plug this. And then for the target, I'm just going to get our player controller like so. And then I'll just hit compile. And then from the target, I'm just going to drag out and look for get player controller like so. And then I will hit compile. And that's pretty much all I need for my, uh, my menu. And then I'll go back to my content browser and I'm just going to create a, I'm going to right click, go to blueprint class and create a new player controller. And I'll just call this underscore or BP underscore pause controller just for the purpose of this tutorial. And then under my world settings, I am just going to drag this BP pause controller over where it says player controller class like so. And then I'll double click to open this pause controller and I'll go to the event graph. And for this, all I need to do is just uh, I'll erase these two and I'm just going to look for a debug key P. And basically, whenever I press this, I'm going to check for a branch to see if the game is actually paused. So I can just look for is game paused. And if it's not paused, then I'm going to set the show mouse cursor to true. I want my mouse to be available so I can click the buttons. And I'm just going to simply just create a widget to blueprint or create widget, which is going to be our menu pause. And then I'll just add this to the viewport, make sure the return value is connected so it knows which, which one to add to the viewport, like so. And we will just set game paused to true because back here in our menu pause, we are setting it to false. When we click resume, 
And over here, we want to set it to true whenever we click P. And then I'll just hit compile and save. And then I will just basically, I just need to go back to the map and actually try this out. So when I go ahead and hit play, and then I will just hit P, my menu will pop up and my mouse will show. And then when I click on this, it'll resume the game like so. And then if I hit P again and hit restart, my character is going to restart and fall from wherever that starting position is. And then I can hit P and quit. And yeah, that's exactly the, that's the pause menu that we're looking for. That pretty much covers our tutorial for today. Thanks for watching Codes Row. Like, subscribe, comment below what you want to see next. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.